Hi, I'm Jeremy Morgan, and this is a review of the Toner Studio Boom Arm. Let's check this out. So this is a microphone arm stand, as they call it, a toner adjustable suspension boom scissor mic stand with pop filter. But basically, this is a arm to put a microphone on your desk. That way you can have it just sitting there, hanging. So the first thing I did is bring this thing out of the box, right? So it comes with this. First, this is the scissoring arm that comes out. Now, one of the first things that I noticed about this um, right away is that it's a pretty heavy duty steel. Um, the springs are really good. The hinges are really good. Now, if you know me, I break pretty much everything I touch. Um, if not immediately, eventually. So I do like the fact that this feels very, very durable. And you can tell by the springs that it can hold some weight. So one of the questions that I see for uh, microphone arms on Amazon a lot is, will it hold X weight microphone? So I'm going to attach a few microphones to this thing. I would like to point out that it comes with a pop filter. And you can see right here. And this pop filter is of course, to eliminate plosives in your microphone. One thing I can say about this pop filter is it has a very nice clamp on it. You can see there. The fabric seems pretty durable. I mean, I, I can't imagine I'll be punching this thing very much, but I could, I could punch it like this. Um, so this was kind of cool. I didn't expect this to come with the kit. I guess I didn't look at it closely enough. And it comes with a clamp. Take a look at this clamp. That is a heavy duty clamp. Now, traditionally, Toner is not what you would call like a high end brand. Um, it's mostly mid range. But some of the Toner stuff that I've had in the past has been, you know, right, right about what you'd expect for $30 for a microphone stand, right? You're not going to expect something that's professional level that can be beat to death for $30. However, this microphone stand is quite a bit different. Take a look at this picture of the two of them together. Okay, let's examine the difference between these two. So this is my old one that I've used for quite a while. And it's not bad. It's worth $30. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's, it's a little crinky and noisy. Um, the hinges aren't super great. Springs are okay. But with some of my heavier microphones, which I am going to attach one of my heaviest ones to the new one, by the way. But... With some of my heavier microphones, it tends to, tends to do this thing, where it slowly sinks down. So I've always used pretty lightweight microphones on it. But anyway, this is, so this is the old toner microphone boom arm. Not bad. It's worth $30. Um, I paid $30 for it a couple years ago. Not bad. But now let's look at the clamps and let's look at and see what they did with the clamps. So this is the clamp from my old boom arm. Um, this clamp sucks. So it's kind of a pinchy tight thing. There we get it. But this, this little opening here has opened up and, and you place this in here, right? Oops. And I totally did it wrong, but. You place this in here, and it doesn't fit super tight. So most people probably don't do a ton of moving with it, but when you move it around, it's kind of clunky. And if you've got a $200 microphone on there, so this is the old clamp that's on there. This is the new one. For the one that I'm reviewing right now, look at the difference between these two clamps. I don't want to make a big deal about clamps, but clamps are a big deal. So this thing, pinches to my desk. Um, it's, it's worked fine. I mean, kind of, okay. This one, much stronger, much more durable. And this is not loosey goosey and stuff. I mean, you put it in there. I'm surprised I didn't hit myself in the head when I just did that, but this is very solid. So this, if you can see, is just it's solid. So one of the things that I want to emphasize in this review is that this is way more solid than a $30 microphone stand 
usually would be. So let's set it up and try it out. So this thing is now clamped to my desk and it isn't going anywhere. And this thing is very solid and firm in place. So let's attach a microphone to it. So now I have the blue snowball attached to this thing. And the blue snowball is super popular with podcasters, streamers, people like that. And this, I mean, check this out. If I tighten that clamp, it holds it in place. So I know one of the questions that's going to come up, especially on Amazon, is can it hold up a blue snowball? Holds it up perfectly fine. And these are great microphones. They look cool. Um, people get a lot of mileage out of these things. Oops. And so if you're wondering if this microphone stand can hold that up, it absolutely can. It's not even close to being weighed down with the blue snowball. So let's try something heavier. So here it is holding up my Rode Procaster. And it's holding it well. So the Rode Procaster weighs almost two pounds. So here I have the Rode Procaster, which is about two pounds, and the pop filter on this thing, and it's holding it up just fine. It's not sinking down, it's not doing anything weird. Um, that's really impressive for a $30 boom arm. Notice how you can't hear creaking and crumbling. So overall, I wanted to keep this review pretty short. But this is a great boom arm. This thing is better than a $30 boom arm should be. Now, in my studio, I've used the PS1 and several other um, higher-end, more expensive boom arms. This one is really, really close for a fraction of the price. My recommendation, if you're just getting started out, podcasting, streaming, whatever, try this boom arm. It works great, even with super heavy microphones. Um, it's not squeaky or creaky. It's built really solid. And I think it'll be great for hobbyist use. And I think it's well worth the money.